Bonjour, bonjour. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, you're gonna learn to jump into the code and add tabs to your product page. Now tabs can be very useful if you wanna segment the information nicely and you know cleanly so it's very clear for your visitors in different sections where the information is. We're gonna go from this to this on the product page. So if you stick around to the very end, you're gonna figure out exactly how to do that. Also, if you look at the description, there is a link below and there is a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually get there. So you just have to follow the text, all the code is there as well, and you copy paste it. I'm gonna actually follow that exact same guide right now with you, and we're gonna add some tabs to your product page. Let's just Jump straight into it. So here we are on our demo shop. Um, perfect, we can go to the camera film and you can see right here there is no tabs. There is just my product description, my product title and my price and I can add to cart or buy it now. Pretty standard stuff. So if we look at this, this is our Shopify store in the back end. Obviously, this is what you log into every day, hopefully. Um, and we're going to make those changes. For this, we're going to go to the online store section. And here you have all your themes. Whenever you make some custom coding to your store, and I can't underline this enough because some comments were like, oh, I'm stuck. I made a mistake. Um, you have to, have to, have to always create a duplicate of your store. So create a duplicate, in that case you have a backup. In case something goes wrong, you can always refer to the duplicate. And actually, we're going to do the work on the duplicate theme. That way, if we're doing something wrong in the code, it doesn't affect our live visitors. And I still, we still can continue making sales and there is no broken experience. So here you go, I clicked actions and duplicate and now I have the copy of the debut team which is an exact copy the code is exactly copied but this is not live. Okay so we are going to jump into the code right now all you have to do is click on actions right here and then jump into the code by clicking edit code right here and here we are this is what you should normally be seeing so we're going to start by adding jquery jquery long story short is an external code library that we're going to get some information from i'll make another video about exactly what jquery is but that's kind of beside the point right now it's possible that jquery is already installed on your shopify store it's a very common thing to do so for that we're going to go here in the layout section you will find the team.liquid on the team.liquid, you're going to go to your keyboard and you're going to do Command F for Mac or Control F for Windows. And this will pop up this little search function. That allows me to search for a specific word inside this file right here. And you're going to type jQuery. Nothing came up. I typed enter, nothing came up. That means there is no jQuery installed yet. No problem. You're going to look for the head tag right here. We can find it. Head opening tag is right here. You're going to press enter twice. And then you're going to take the jQuery um, code line from the documentation in the link below. And you're going to paste that right here. So again, whenever I paste code, all that code is available to you. You just have to go down into the description, follow the link, and you will see all the step-by-step -step guide with the code. And there you just copy paste exactly this line. Now, what happens if jQuery is already installed and when you did control find and typed in jQuery, you did find jQuery. Just make sure that here you see the version of jQuery, it's 1.11.3 or above. So if it's 1.12.4, that works. If it's uh, 1. Point, I don't know, 14, that works. If it's 1.10, doesn't work. So then you just add this line of code. So I'm cutting a couple of corners here, but that's the gist of it. Just do that to keep it simple. Okay, so once the jQuery is added, we're actually kind of done here. So we're going to click on save right here and make sure the asset is saved. Perfect. The next step will be adding some HTML to your product. So we're going to click on the product. We're going to get out of the team code right here. We're going to click on product. And we're going to click on the product that we want to play with. 
Once we're in the product where we want to add the tabs, we're going to click on the little show HTML icon right here. Then we're going to copy and paste the code that's provided to you under the second section in the documentation link below. So I'm going to remove all of this and I'm going to paste my HTML that is provided to you in the documentation below. Once that is done, you can simply click on save right here. Great. Now, just be wary is that this is live right now. So if someone at this very moment comes to your store and goes to the camera film product, they will see this right here, what we just entered. So keep that in mind. If you want to avoid that and really not affect your live users at all, you can duplicate the product, put the code into it, and then switch the live products afterwards. Now we have added our HTML to our product. It's time to jump back into the code. So you click on online store. You go to the copy of your debut team because that's where we're making all of our modifications. You go back into edit code and you're going to look for the product.liquid template. So that should be under the template uh, section right here. You see the word template right here. So there should be a product.liquid. If there's just too much there, you can just type in products. So right here, we have the product.liquid, we open it, and then we scroll to the very bottom of the page. We type in enter a couple of times, the very last things, and we paste the entire script section that is provided to you in the link below. So this is what I just pasted. Again, code is provided to you in the link below and you click on save. Okay, and now we have to add the styling. So now the skeleton is kind of done of what we want to do. It's going to react the way we want. If we click on one tab, it's going to go to that tab. And if we click on another, it's going to show the other information. The problem is it's not as pretty as we like it yet. It's probably very bare bones. That's because we haven't added our CSS code yet. CSS code is responsible for making it pretty. So if you really want to do this the correct way of clean development, you should be adding all CSS code in the CSS files. You can find that in team.scss and you can add the code that we provided at the very bottom by making a nice little mention um, with the comments. Now, if you're not familiar with code, I'm going to advise you to go against it just for the sake of keeping it simple. If you're a developer and you're looking at this, you're like, oh, you shouldn't do inline coding. Okay, yes, that's why I'm telling you, if you're a developer and you know what you're doing, put it into the CSS file. If you're not a developer and you're really on a tight budget, forget what I just said and go back to the product.liquid file where we just pasted it. In the product.liquid file, we're going to add the style tags that are also provided below. So in step five, you have the style tags, just copy and paste it from the document and we're going to paste that in right here. Again, this is not clean code style and CSS should technically not be in this file, but for the sakes of keeping it easy in the video, we will keep it in here. So once that is done, you can click save right here and then we're done with all the code. Now we're going to go back to the online store and we're going to test it. So we can go to actions and we can click preview, give it a little bit of time to load. Once we're in the preview, you're now previewing the copy of the debut team, which is our backup copy. We're going to click on the product where we added the HTML. And here you can see we have the tapped section. There we go. We'll go to the live site. This is what your customers are currently seeing and they're seeing it like that. So we need to put what we've just built live. No problem doing that. This is the version that we have just built. This is the version that's currently live. So for that, we're going to go to the version that we just built. We're going to click on actions and we're going to click on publish. It's going to ask us if we're sure we want to publish this. And yes, we are sure because we just tested it and we are publishing the new version. That way, if you notice that something went wrong and you're like, oh my God, I did a typo somewhere or something, you can just revert back and put the old version before you started doing the modification back online by clicking publish right here. 
but currently we're seeing that everything is working as expected. Now, you might want to change the information within the tab because you want to add your chart or you want to add your shipping or return or you want to enter your YouTube video. Well, for that, you're going to go to products. You're going to go to the camera film product because that's the one we're working on. You're going to click on the HTML and then here, for example, if, oh, for example, in the description tag, you see enter product description over here. You're going to look for that exact same phrase um, in here. And it says here, enter product description over here. So here I can write about my product. This is the most fantastic camera. The tab right next to it talks about sizing. Actually, I don't have sizing in cameras. I have types of cameras. So I want to change the words size chart as well. Um, so for that, I'm going to look for the words size chart right here. And I'm going to change that to type of camera. And like that, you can change basically everything and then enter the sizes over the table. No, I don't want to talk about sizes. I want to talk about um, these are the different camera types and then A, B, C. Just make sure you never touch any of those weird little signs here in these weird little tags because that's your HTML code and that's going to confuse the system if you start touching that. Um, if by any chance you deleted by, by because you were confused, don't worry, link below the HTML is there. You'll just have to rewrite your little descriptions. Um, shipping and return. Um, here is the shipping and return details. I'm writing those here. So I'll remove that and I'll write always between those, those tags here. Uh, eternal free ship thing because my cameras are bomb. I'm not a copywriter. I don't know if you noticed. Um, and then let's say you don't want tab number four. You can just remove that entire div. So right here, you remove this and then you make sure that you remove the list tab right here. I don't have videos, so you can remove that entire list tab right here, and then we save. We refresh to see the results. And there we go, we have three tabs now. Um, type of camera, these are the different types. Eternal free shipping because cameras are the bomb. And this is my description. So there you go, I hope that was quite useful for you. Now you have a quick and easy way to add tabs to your product and to your Shopify store. Now I know there is more professional ways and cleaner ways to do that, but those are a bit long to explain in a Shopify video. This is really if you're starting up and if you just need some code to quickly have tabs to your product page, then this is definitely the information you need. All the styling you can do by changing the CSS, that's going to be for another video. The JavaScript on how it acts, you don't really need to change it and the HTML is pretty straightforward as well. If you want a more sophisticated solution, make sure to check into Metafields. That's definitely something that can help you for that. We did a couple of videos reviewing Metafields in the very beginning of this YouTube channel, so the audio might be pretty harsh to, to listen to. I'm sorry about that. Otherwise, you can always contact my team at ecomexperts.io and we'll be more than glad to help you out for this. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I love you all. Make sure to like and subscribe for crazy fun videos. I hope so. I hope they're fun. There's funner videos than this. And I'll see you in another one. Ciao.